visualize more clearly the central cluster uh, size dark matter halo, Chris put in this backstop. So it's actually transparent in the front, but opaque in the back. It's a black bowl. <laughs> So, Joe, so this is from the Bolshoi uh, simulation. Bolshoi. Uh -huh. I assume you've heard about it recently. Um, and so this is going into the largest uh, halo, largest kind of conglomeration. And we put this bowl behind it. I hope you'll see why in a second. To basically isolate, kind of wall off the background. And so we're going to zoom in until this bowl just fills the frame of view. And so what you'll be seeing is, is everything in the virial radius of this halo. So everything here is, is bound. Um, and the, basically this illustrates, well, a, a large galaxy cluster. So typically you've got a large elliptical galaxy in the middle. I think it'll be CD galaxies. Maybe some other large elliptical galaxies here and there, but for the most part all the rest of these things um, will be spiral galaxies or other. Now keep in mind, this is just the dark matter halos associated. There are no galaxies in here, um, but these are the halos. That, uh, Remember I showed you how this particular halo formed, and I showed you all those little halos forming, and then merging, and more halos forming, and merging, 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 and that was to make this. This is at redshift zero. This is today, according to the simulation. What I showed you was how it actually came to be. But every one of those little bubbles, those little dark matter halos, is going to have a galaxy in it. So there will be loads and loads of galaxies of different sizes. There's like 1,200 in this, if I remember right. At least. Yeah. And so then we'll pull and back and out. And for every one of the objects in the entire simulation, we found the same calculation. So now notice how this galaxy cluster is kind of part of one of these long filamentary structures. Mm. It becomes clear when we get out of it kind of strung along. These also, uh, it's actually something that we see all the time, that the, the more massive the cluster, the more elongated it is. It doesn't look quite so elongated now because we're looking down the bar, but as it rotates, you're going to see how elongated it is. But the smaller ones, the smaller groups, are not as elongated. And in fact, we wrote a classic paper on that about six or seven years ago. Right. And note, note also that it's at kind of the junction of several of these large filamentary structures very largest ones tend to be at these kind of nodal junctions, whereas some of the smaller ones are strung out more like beads on the string. Uh, this like is the just the way we see the galaxies distributed. Today. It's like breast it's like tissue. A, it's like a synapse. Or like a breast yeah, tissue. Yeah, <laughs> I know, every, everybody points that out. Yeah. 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 I mean, similarities to the nervous Could we have a group photo in front of this? Yay! Ah, okay, so yes. the next one I'm going to show might be 